Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. Basically, this show is telling you how to empty your wallets and go bankrupt on keyboard. So welcome, 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 everyone. Let's see who who is on tonight. I see. Let's see. Let's go see. I see a big chimpo, six rest, bookmonger, xenophobia, wit pack, homie zoned, thicky Jimmy. Ro Timmy, Neffer, Nuclear Monsters, hello, 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 and welcome to the stream. Welcome to another Sunday night, another night of expiring and starting GBs. And as usual, we gotta talk about what is Merlin drinking. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see, let's change this, the screen really quick. There we go, Um, for the second time, or I guess it's the third time at this at this point, I'll be drinking Mango Lassi, basically from my local Costco. Just saw this drink, it's pretty tasty. And I believe the first thing I said about it was that it was a little too sour for me, so I started mixing it with milk. And boy, was that an adventure. <laughs> Here, let me turn on some music first. Boy, was that an, an adventure. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm lactose intolerant, so that stream in which I was mixing this with the milk, like an hour or two in, I was already like, man, I need to end this stream soon. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I have a solution today. I have a completely different solution to dealing with the sourness. I'm gonna go for oat milk. Here we go, hopefully this works. <laughs> yeah. Let's try this, let's try this. Oat milk, oat milk and mango lassi. I do, I, I do not want to be in that same position that I was last week. <laughs> anyway, while I'm mixing up this drink, I um, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribed while I was offline. Everyone who followed and subscribed. Let's see, who are my subscribers? Poultrygeist. Daru Maple, Dr. Zonko, Crossreach, Nox QCZ, Not Kyoko, Kai Kawasaki, Andre Taheri, Gavin Edgar, Isolation, Zalmar, Cucumber Melt, Sam Young, Matthew Snyder, Che Chano, Refrigerated Elephant. Thank you guys so much for subscribing even when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Means a lot. You know, like this channel won't be possible without you guys watching me. It would just be me talking to myself. Which which isn't such a bad thing, you know? Like, I, I, I habitually talk to myself <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I don't really talk to myself about keyboard stuff, right? See, Nefert says, now is the time to hit that... Hit that hydrate command. Indeed, now that I have something to hydrate myself with. See, and hopefully my my activity feed shows shows all of those hits because in the past I have not seen that happen all right let's see if the oat milk and the mango lassi worked out if not I'll just drink water tonight <laughs> Bram Sa Santoso has followed, thank you. Humari says, are you left-handed or just flexing on us with that keyboard? Um, just flexing on you guys. <laughs> Xenophobia says, didn't know lactose intolerance was a thing until you were 13 or so. Six Rest says, Merlin, have you tried kefir? I have tried it, but I can't remember. Bram Santosa said, is that eggnog? No, it's not, but we are coming into that season, right? Um, in fact, on my last Costco run, I saw I saw their alcoholic eggnog and for like $8 for like an entire bottle. Nuclear Monster says, most people don't experience it until they're around 12 to 15. Yeah, I was fairly fortunate, maybe because I was raised to drink milk. I didn't really realize like, like, I didn't realize I was lactose intolerant until I went to college. And at the time I was just like saving as much money as I could so that I could 
eat so that I could like buy my book. So I did not drink milk at all while I, while I was in college. And I think that summer that I returned home to Taiwan, I drank some milk and boy, oh boy, was that an adventure. <laughs> so yeah, ever since then, I guess just, I don't know what happened. Maybe just my chemistry changed, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, anyway, it's about time to start the show. We actually have quite a few things to talk about tonight. Um, I count, let's see, how, how, how many do I count tonight? I count 14 different things to talk about. Excellent, excellent. And it's going to be weighted more towards the ending group eyes because I didn't really see too many that were starting. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Boom, here we go. Let's start with ending group eyes. For those of you who are new to the show, the way this show works is I talk about ending and starting group eyes for the following week. Nothing before this week, nothing after this week. I like to start with ending group eyes first because those are more those are more um, pressing, I'd say, and then I move into starting group eyes. And of course, since there's so many group eyes that happen, I can't possibly like keep track of them all. So at the end, I'm like, audience, help me out. Audience, help me out. And I'm seeing Jack Static subscribing at tier one for 16 months. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see, what should we, what's the first thing we should talk about? Let me pull out my notes. Come on, notes. There we go. Let's talk about something ending today, actually. So there's really not much time left. <laughs> Here we go. The first item I'd like to talk about is GMK Monokai. This one is literally ending tonight. Tonight, guys, so there's really not much time. Um, be sure to click that link if you're interested. This is currently on Novel Keys. It is designed by Oblotsky. Only two kits available. Base kit for 135 and extension kit for 65 bucks. So yeah, let's let's take a look at a, a bit of this. Um, it's basically like Oblivion, but with dark alphas. So if that's something that you like, definitely hit this up. Once again, that's 135 for the base. 65 for the extension group buy ends quite literally tonight and he is expecting to ship this out by may 2021 i am slightly doubtful of that um, i'm gonna say add an extra month or two or possibly october 2021 <laughs> that's what i'd say that's what i'd say Ro Timmy says, testing, testing. What are you testing for? Ooh, subscribe for two months with Prime this minute. Very cool. Thank you so much, man. The Chris Clark says, how is GMK so backed up? Demand, man. There's like, everyone wants a GMK set. If you look at interest checks and you look at group buys, there's just, everyone wants GMK. Takes too long, honestly. Let's see, what can I say about this set? Um, I like it. As some of you know, I am a software engineer during my day job and our source control is actually Git. Like I've used Mercurial, I've used Subversion in the past, but these days I use Git. So yeah, these all of these novelty keys really speak to me. Um, in terms of the color though, I really wish he would have stuck with the lighter alphas. I don't like dark colored alphas simply because I think that they shine much faster. All right. Make sure you click that link if you are interested. Me Mueller has followed, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, actually, let's see, it's 7.39 on the West Coast right now. You guys have like, what, a little over four hours to make your, your decision. <laughs> All right, next one isn't expiring just quite yet. So here we go. All the way at the key company, this is Infinity Key Comfy. Check out that set, guys. 
This one expires October 9th. So you see, you guys got time. And this one also comes with only two kits. Core kit is for 90 bucks. Extension kit is for 45 bucks. What I like about InfiniKey is that all of their kits, it's like, other than their base kit, I feel like everything else is such a good deal. They give you so many caps for the price that they offer. The expected ship date is also May 2021. Interesting. I bet even though they're saying May 2021 and Monica is also saying May 2021. I'm willing to bet that Infinity will get here be before your Monica order. <laughs> Yeah, so one thing I like about TKC is like they always have this timer set. This group buy will close in five days. I think that's something that every vendor should should like implement. But yeah, um, looks like both kits will be made. They've met MOQ. 450 out of 100 for the core kit and more than double for the extension kit. I'm honestly, I'm kind of surprised just because I'm not a big fan of this colorway, to be honest. So I'm I'm really surprised that they hit all the MOQs here. That's pretty cool. Let's look at some of these renders. Ah, on the J01, on a white J01. Cool beans. See, let's look at this board. Mm, not sure it looks good on a polycar, but I guess it works. There we go. That's a that's a Noah, isn't it? That's a Matrix Noah. I did not know that Matrix Noahs came in pink as well, but that I think the set works well on a pink board. <laughs> All right. Well. If you guys want to buy the set, you've got five days. Remember, October 9th, please click on in, on the key company store to make your purchase. Next up is a set also expiring on October 9th. All right, let me grab that link for everyone. Here we go. This set was also expiring on October 9th. Go. This is DSA Pastel Toys. Look at that. This is a relatively new vendor, I think. Castle Keyboards in the UK. Let's see. Uh, the 10 keyless kit goes for about 80. Ortholinear's 57. Oh, I can see all the prices here. Numpad's 32. Specialties is 41. Nordic is 21. Novelties is 18. How how much is that in U.S. dollars? That is roughly 93 dollars for the 10 kilos. Ah, okay. Mm, for something that's a DSA. I kind of think it could be a tiny bit cheaper, but for those novelties, I think I think that's a good price for the novelties. And they're cute. They're really cute. Look at that. Let's see, can I zoom in a bit? Zoom. Nope, it's not letting me zoom in. Let's see, Define Cable says, are there board renders? Let's see. Uh, to find out more here. Maybe? Price update. Nope, that's just all about the price, but there's no actual board vendor. Maybe he's got a Geek Hack page? Let's go look. DSL, DSA Pastel Toys Geek Hack. Let's see. Let's go look. Ah, yes, there are. Here, let me post this Geek Hack page to the chat. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Geek Hack page where his renders are at. Here we go. I think this is another set that 
only works well on white and pink boards. <laughs> Interesting. Yep, made by Signature Plastics. Okay. Extra novelties, Nord, specialties, color swatches, YCE, RCJ. I think these are stock colors. Mercy Side says they look cheap for some reason. I think Pastel tends to make anything look cheap. Kind of makes it look kiddish childish you know what i mean but yeah if you guys are interested in this set you've got until october 9th to purchase this set there we go click on it if you're interested the next set that is expiring is on october 11th here we go October 11th on Dixie Mech. This is SA Dual Shot. Hello. There we go. SA Dual Shot. Um, in fact, GMK Dual Shot should have already shipped to people by now. And, and actually, if you guys want the GMK version of this, Dixie Mech is doing a um, in-stock extra sale tomorrow at noon pst so if you don't like sa but you like gmk definitely hit up dixie mech at noon tomorrow but yeah if if not the sa version is currently on sale the base kits for 125 num pads for 30 space bars are 25 novelty kits 40 is that is that really a novelty kit well, I guess that's the... Looks fairly plain for a novelty kit, if you ask me. <laughs> anyway, accent kits, 45, and ISO is 25. Cool, cool, cool. See, King Friday says, dual shot kind of bland, unless you really like the theme, unless you're a really big PlayStation fan. PlayStation 1, I guess. Yeah. So this expires, oh, it looks like I'm wrong. Oh no, I'm right, October 11th. And approximate shipping time is late Q3 2021. That's interesting. That seems to imply that Signature Plastics is even more behind than GMK. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Produced by Signature Plastics, all that good stuff, yada yada yada. Cool stuff. Um, I'm not a big fan of, of like SA. Even though I've got so many SA caps, I guess it took me a while to like figure that out. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, SA looks cool and on this particular board it looks pretty nice. What, what board is this? Is this just like a render of sorts? Does, does anyone in the audience know if this is an actual board? Yeah, Define Cable says, don't know. Pylon says, board is an IC. Doesn't look familiar, it is Geist. Ravia says, Geist, let me look that up. So I'm curious now, Geist board. Geist. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. Ah, yes it is, I see it now. Let me post that in chat really quick for all of you to see. That is the Geist. Geist, Geist, Geist. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. There we go. Nintendo 64 inspired NMK64. Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, um, that's, that's weird looking. <laughs> like based on Dixie's photos, I thought this would be a little more, um, substantial but I guess it's 
It's a low pro profile board. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Rotary encoder from the looks of it. Okay. Uh, this was last posted, or this was originally posted in April of 2020. What's the latest update? This is the latest update. Let me read this really quick. Oh, the last update was in May. Interesting. Okay. Looks pretty good from the top, but the side angle looks horrible, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to what we were originally talking about. SA <laughs> SA dual shot. So yeah, um this group buy is ending October 11th. You guys have a few more days left. Definitely hit that hit that link up that I posted. Here, let me post it again. If you like SA and if you like the dual shot theme, check this out. Check this out. All right, guys. Um, those are all the key sets that are expiring this week. So just to recap, to recap the key caps. <laughs> um, you've got GMK Monokai expiring on October 4th. You've got Infinity Comfy expiring October 9th. DSA Pastel Toys also expiring October 9th and DSA Dual Shot expiring October 11th. Out of these four, four key sets, what, what is the audience most interested in or what has the audience joined? I'm curious, curious to know. Align Ace used Hydrate, thank you. Let me, let me hydrate. I guess I'm already drinking though. <laughs> Say Nuclear Monsters says Dual Shot. Trissy Pissy says I've joined Infinity Comfy. Define has joined Monokai, but on the edge about Comfy. Nefert says none for me. Iwanu is Monokai. Solmec is none, but Monokai looks nice. Xenophobia says Monokai looks great. Monokai, 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 and Zark triggered Staff Party. Staff Party, okay. <laughs> staff Party, oh boy. Here, let, let me grab the staff really quick. While, while you guys are still discussing that, let's trigger the Staff Party. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Everyone who triggers the staff party command gets extra luck when they go into a key cult raffle. <laughs> so yeah. Just just a quick side story. This is the the infamous keyboard staff, which you will only see on this channel or during the Seattle meetup. But yeah, this was built for me by or crafted for me by a co-worker who was into woodcrafting. And he figured that since I was into keyboards, he would make me make me one of these. So he's got a full size on once on one side right there. He's got a, I think that's a 60% on the other. <laughs> a line A says, your friend showed you his staff yet? No, he has not. He did, he also has a new baby, so he's probably quite quite um occupied with that. <laughs> Say, Zark says bloody drop rerunning SA carbon. <laughs> Keep noob says that staff is sick and cheered for 100 bits. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, it's funny because when he first made this for me, I actually asked him, "Is this something you can mass produce?" Thinking I could have like a group buy of sorts or something. He's like, "No." This took me three weeks to make. I'm like, okay, no, I'm not gonna ask you to make another one. <laughs> yeah. A staff group buy, that, that would be something like, okay, imagine the shipping for this. This thing is 
literally almost as tall as I am. Yeah, this is this is almost as tall as I am. Like people complain about GMK trays, right? And like how GMK trays take what, like 25 bucks just to ship? Imagine shipping this bad boy. I'd probably put it in like a poster box of sorts. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. Everyone who witnesses this gets extra luck added to all your keyboard raffles. <laughs> all right, let's get back. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Let's see, Thicky Jimmy initiated spoken word. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I need to start limiting how much, um, how many things can be triggered during an actual news stream. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, for those of you who don't know the spoken word, <laughs> here, let's do this. <laughs> I, think I, I think I started doing this when I was testing typing tasks. So basically my spoken word is just my interpretation of typings.gg. <laughs> so here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's um let's pause the music for dramatic effect. Pause the music for dramatic effect. Here it goes, here it goes. Here it goes. <sighs> Great and Shosei, will people follow consider a use here again? Problem head point little, by need, against nation, down fact new. Why could each very after set present another round leave? Small open, means say where tell any all could most point, and we there then two year in use. <laughs> all right, there we go. There we go. That is the end of end of spoken word. <laughs> let's let's try and get back to the show, guys. <laughs> a line A says it's my first time witnessing a speaking test. <laughs> Ducks and Quack says, "What did I just listen to?" So profound. These are these are the words of Merlin. You must take them to heart, and me and you need to meditate on them. Figure out what I really mean. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like most people were interested in GMK Monokai material, so let's move on to the keyboard group buys that are ending. In fact, we've only got we've only got one keyboard group buy expiring. Here we go. Here we go. Staff keys that sound Shakespearean. <laughs> Here we go. This is the only keyboard group uh, expiring this week that I know of. This is the watch me butcher its name. It's the the Frock Crary eighty two. <laughs> Frock Frock Rare for Crary. I don't know. I don't know. Basically, it's an it's a seventy five percent keyboard with a column on the left. This one is expiring October 7th. Here, let's see if I can get to the main page here. Look at that. This is by Velocifier. So don't expect this to be like, you know, Rama grade or even like Novel Keys grade. But check out some of these specs. It's an integrated mount. It's aluminum. It's type C. And you have a wired or a wireless option. It uses G3 software. Whatever that is, let's click on the link. Okay. You can remap the keys, you can do lighting effect, and you can do macros. Okay, looks looks fairly straightforward. Kind of. We'll see. I'd love to see a video of like how how, how it actually works. Keyboard's about five degrees. Weight of the kit is one point seven kilograms. You also have a solder PCB and plate mounted stabilizers. Okay. Maybe not not too good a move there. You got your brass name badge, 
and the price is roughly $300 and it includes PayPal fee and shipping for most countries. Let's say delivery within two months after the group buy end and since this is ending on October 7th, you should get this in time for Christmas. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's look at some, some more of these photos actually. <laughs> it it actually looks good from the top like I would use a board with this layout I would absolutely use a board with this layout look at the oh orange interesting wait 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 yeah that actually looks pretty good Oh, uh, so you can actually customize your badge. You could put the name of the board on it or I guess anything you want. I bet that's like an added cost. Ooh, anodized blue and e-blue. I did not know there was such a thing as e-blue. I thought that there was just e-white and like e-yellow e and e-pbt. I'm not a fan of the E color. <laughs> Sam Meist. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correct, but thank you for subscribing. No chance RPG says E for expensive. Yes. Yes, that is absolutely what the E stands for. There's expensive white, expensive yellow, expensive blue, and expensive PBT. <laughs> Ooh, look, it comes in a in a fancy case. Fancy case. Oh, there we go. That's a better photo of how it's integrated. Okay. So that that almost looks like it's low profile. Hold on. Oh, okay, so there's still a top piece that goes on this. This is literally just... Okay, this 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 does not make sense. Oh, no, 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 wait. This is the bottom of the plate. The bottom of the top piece. Okay, okay. I get it now. I get it now. Look at that PCV. Okay. USB-C, right? Um... Let's see, I think someone earlier mentioned that it might not have ESD protection, which is a very real possibility. Um, it, it might, there's like, this, this, this chip on the very top here, the one closest to the USB port, that, that might be like an ESD protection switch. I mean, an, an ESD protection chip. Don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the rest of these things are. Maybe for a Bluetooth wireless, who knows? Who knows? There we go, that's the other side. Looks like there's RGB. One, two, three, four, five, five RGB lights. Interesting. And look on that top left. That's. That's also RGB lights surrounding that, that switch. Huh. Interesting. All right. And we're back to the beginning. All right. Well, if you guys are interested in purchasing this, this is the only keyboard that is expiring this week and it's expiring on the seventh. Definitely check it out if interested. And Nicholas Chan has subscribed. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Let's see, what's up next? What's up next? What's up next is not a keyboard and not a keycap, but here we go. These are the OA switches. They're currently on Canon keys. 
the original Aspiration OA switch. Basically, this is a JWK manufactured switch, 67G spring, but it's got a polycarb top and a UHM WPE bottom housing. So I'd say this sounds better th than a tangerine. Yeah, let's see. It's one one pack of switches is 110. Why why is it 66? Let's add it to the cart. See what happens. View cart. Does he sell it in packs of 10? I think so. Oh, there we go. Yeah, one quantity is 110 switches. I guess that didn't register to me when I first read it. <laughs> but yeah, this one expires on Friday, October 9th. Let's see. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with JWK, JWK currently makes some of the smoothest switches in our community. In fact, a lot of the really smooth switches that you hear about are made by JWK. They, they're responsible for stuff like alpacas. Um, they're responsible for the new NK, NK series, like the dry and silk series, and quite a few more. I feel like every new switch that I've seen has been JWK. But yeah, this is just another another variant. Another variant of it. But yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely check it out. I'll post the link again. This is a 67G linear switch with a polycarb top and UHM WPE bottom. And yeah, expiring this Friday, October 9th. Tofri says, why do you think OA would sound better than a Tangi? Because a Tangi is both UHM WPE on top and on bottom and in my experience that gave it a very brittle sound especially on 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 the bottom out and on the return so I quote unquote fixed my tangerines by replacing the top with the cherry MX top and that made it sound so much deeper um, polycarb will have a similar effect so and and that's why I'm saying this this is gonna sound better than a tangerine Solji says, hello Merlin, I'm going to lurk here. Lurk all you want, man. You are welcome to lurk. <laughs> all right. Did I already link that? Yep, I linked it already. All right. Okay, what's next? The next item expiring today, or not today, but also on the 9th, is another switch. All the way at Ilum KB. Here you go. This is the Evil Airy and Miami switch. Um, this one started way back in September 25th. Estimated shipping date is December 2020. These are tactile switches. You got a 67G bottom out, 45G actuation. It's got a polycarb top and nylon bottom housing. Um, these are made by the Panda factory. Now look at that, he he even provides the color codes for all of them. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nefert has subscribed at tier one. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that, these are the Miami ones and these are the airy ones. I think it's actually a good looking switch. <laughs> these switches are sold in packs of 10. You can only cancel the order in three days after you place the order. That's interesting. I've, I've never seen another vendor put this down, but I guess people might be canceling all over. There we go. Um, see, are they the same price? Yep, they are the same price for either the Airy or the Miami. Cool beans, cool beans. Out of curiosity, does anyone in chat know what macro pad that is because that's that's very interesting to me the does anyone in chat know what this is Iwanu says s7.7 .7. the the macro pad from Velocifier 
Yeah. The S7.7. Let me just take a peek at what that is. S7.7. Oh, there we go. Here, let me post this in chat for those interested. Please follow that geek hack link. Here we go. This is the S7.7 .7 QMK pad. Looks like it was posted this past August. Cool beans. Looks nice. Looks like it's an angled board as well. Pretty cool. Like right now, this is an IC. I don't know if this ever went into group by because I would have known, I guess. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. QMK software. So no doubt it will also support via, well, as, as long as they use the right microcontrollers. Cool beans, okay. Cool, now, now I know what it is. Let's go back to what we were talking about. We were talking about the Aerie and the Miami switches. Cool, cool, cool. All right, this one, once again, this one expires October 9th, this coming Friday. Xenophobia says, Merlin, it requires an ISO enter. <gasps> How dare you? How dare? How dare? Okay, I cannot buy that board. <laughs> Let's see. Someone redeemed Ask Me Anything. Seboba says, how many keeps do you have and what are your favorites this minute? Um, gosh. In terms of how many keeps that I have, uh, I think I'll just count the ones on my rack right now. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I think I've got at least 50 in this room right now. Yeah. Um, in terms of my favorite, in terms of my favorite one right now, it would probably be my, my iron. Here. Quick show and tell. Quick show and tell. Nuclear Monsters redeemed Hydrate this minute, and you did it three times. I guess I'll drink, drink it three times. That's one. That's two. And that's three. There we go. All right. Let me show you guys. This is my current favorite. This is my Iron 160. currently running GMK Olive by far probably my my favorite 65 and current favorite out of all my boards it's currently running novel key silk yellows love it a lot love it a lot Ugh. always it's always hard to pull it out of the case <laughs> yeah Yeah, I I actually hot swap modded mine, so these are using Milmax sockets. So if I ever get tired of the NK silk yellows, I'll swap them out to like something else. Yeah, yeah we'll see. We'll see if I get ever if I ever get tired of it. All right, there we go. Let me put it back, put it back in the stall. Okay, okay. Let's see, we just covered the Evil Airy in Miami Switch. The next group buy that is ending is also on October 9th. Boom, here we go. This is 
Rama and Novel Key collab wave keycap for 60 bucks. I think I talked about this last week as well. But it is expiring this week. This week on October 9th. Shipping time is estimated to be sometime between March and April 2021. If this is a design that that you like or you just want like a Rama keycap, this might be the cap to get for you. Remember it's 60 bucks. There we go. Let me post that again in the chat for those interested in Rama keycaps. Holy Switch says, was that an SP75? No, no, no. You're just seeing things. <laughs> you're, you're just seeing things. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next, next up is another switch. Is another switch. Here we go. These are the Koala switches. Another tactile switch. Looks like you have between 62 and 67 G options. Available in packs of 10. Five bucks for a pack of 10. Expires October 10th. Let's see, what's special about these switches? Switch details, here we go. Nylon bottom housing and polycarb top housing. Quite similar to the Airy and the and the Miami switches that I just talked about. Pretty cool. Um, other than that, that's that's what they look like. Nothing nothing too special. Thicky Jimmy says koala, but it's panda colored. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Holy Switch redeemed Hydrate. What? You redeemed it how many times? You redeemed it one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five, okay. I might not have enough to drink it five times. Let me pour my concoction again. Talisman Solutions tipping me 111 bits. Thank you so much. So for those of you just joining in, um, this is a mango lossy drink that I picked up from Costco. Good stuff. And it's a bit sour for me. So the last time I drank this, I mixed it with milk. And that was a bag that that, 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 that was a very big mistake for me, just because I'm lactose intolerant. So trying to hold it in the entire stream was quite problematic for me. <laughs> So today I am drinking it with oat milk. There we go. And let's see. Holy switch did it five times or dude, are you just spamming the hydrate command? <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five. Here, let me count again. I think I think you just did it again a few times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten times. Oh gosh. Here, let me mix it up a little bit more. Holy switch was fifteen times. But dude, why would you do it fifteen times? There, there we go. I took a few gulps of that. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's see. We just did the koala switches. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so if you guys want this switch, definitely check it out. Check that link. Click on that link. Next, next item that is ending is also another switch. So many switches ending this week. Also on October 10th. Here we go. These are the 
op black linear switches for six six fifty five for a pack of ten. <laughs> I love how they have have a pronunciation guide here. Pronounce opaque black or oplac, oblac, oplac. <laughs> <laughs> Say it ten times fast. Oplaque. Opaque black oplaque. <laughs> yeah, so basically these are supposed to be like there's they're, they're supposed to look like Nixdorf switches. Like so. If you guys don't know what a Nixdorf switch is, it's basically a cherry MX black that had a that had a clear top, which was only found on certain boards that were Nixdorf branded. And yeah, they're just as smooth as regular MX Blacks or regular vintage MX Blacks. But the reason why the community gravitated towards them is because the the clear housing allowed for your LEDs to like shine through better. So during this time, if I remember correctly, someone managed to make acrylic tops. And those were so brittle. Those were so extremely brittle. So people were, were were still like, no, this is not a good Nixdorf replacement. And during this whole thing where everyone's trying to come up with, with a replacement, Gateron was like, hey, our switches have clear tops. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. This one ends October 10th. Manufacturer is JWK. Surprise, surprise. The weight is 67G. Top material is Milky Top. I guess they are not divulging what the what the material is other than Milky Top. And the bottom material is Nylon Polished. Stem is also Palm Polished. Cool beans, cool beans. Yeah, you guys have until October, October 10th to purchase these switches. Please click the link if you are interested. All right, all right. We finally finished all the group buys that are ending and we are about an hour into the stream. Oh boy. <laughs> See, Calvin says hydrate, awesome, awesome. Just hydrated. Let's say Alpha four five one two says, "Do you have any pets?" He redeemed to ask me anything. No, I do not have a pet, but I made a big life change this this past Saturday. Actually, I put a down payment for a kitten, so I'm I'm supposed to be receiving this kitten in November. So come November, I'll have a furry cat here. It's a it, it's a Siberian. See, Calvin also followed me. Thank you, thank you. 01011 did hydrate twice. Everyone's making me drink stuff here. I'm just I'm just gonna keep drinking. <laughs> this is a drinking stream, pretty much. <laughs> King Friday says, huh, that's how cats work. Um, no, um, I, normally that's not how it works. Like you don't, like I went to a breeder specifically instead of like an adoption place, which is why I need to wait for stuff to get done. All right, okay. And, and this breeder is actually part of the keyboard community. <laughs> Another reason why I went that route because like oh hey someone in the keyboard community Oh, he says you need a bathroom stop reward. Well, you know, honestly, I'll just go to the bathroom whenever I feel like it <laughs> Since when was there a kid in group by? <laughs> we don't know anyway, let's see this is the time I'd like to transition to group buys that are starting this week but before we do that, before we do that, I'd like to take a moment to talk about some of my lovely sponsors. The first one being Zeal PC. Here, let me change the size on things here. There we go. Zeal PC is a keyboard vendor or a switch vendor, I guess, located in Richmond, Canada. Um, he's he's 
most well known for Zelio switches. And before I continue, I realized I forgot to turn on my sounds again. <laughs> Let's play the music. Play the music. There we go. Yeah, so he's best well known for Zelio switches. He started off with tactile Zelios, and then he started going the Telios, which were linears, Helios, which were silent linears, and now he's got Circurios, Roselios, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. He he is fairly pricey, like honestly. Um back then he did have some of like the better switches in the community, but now with a JWK in the mix, now with you know, JWK, Gateron, all these good switches. Like, you you should really only buy Zelio if you want to try it, right? It's like, this This is this is a very good starting point. Like, what I always recommend to people new to the community is, Zeal has the most expensive switches, right? So why don't you buy Zeal switches first? Because everything else is going to be cheaper than Zeal. With that said, um, I do recommend buying his switches during group buys because they because they do get quite a bit cheaper. So definitely check that out if interested. Here, let me post the link into the chat. Zeal PC, there we go. My next sponsor who makes this happen, who makes this whole stream happen, is Dixie Mac. You guys already know what's happening with Dixie. We talked about SA Dual Shot, so yeah. Check them out. Um, Dixie is located in, in 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 Alabama. Let's see, what can I say about him other than what I've already said about Dual Shot? Um, I first met Dixie back in Texas in 2018. He was already called Dixie Mac, but he didn't have a store quite yet. So yeah, he's probably one of the nicest people that I've ever met. Met him in Texas first, and then he came up here to Seattle for the summer Seattle meetup and got to hang out with him and his wonderful wife for a few days as well. But yeah, if you guys want a, a reliable vendor and also want SA Dual Shot, definitely check out Dixie Mech. There we go. My next vendor is actually a fellow QMK collaborator. You may know him as Baking Pie of Keybio or Danny. I, I think a lot of people know him as Danny as well. But if you're looking for relatively small keyboard projects, something like an Iris would probably be a, be a great one. These are relatively small and relatively cheap. You can get stainless steel plates for 44 bucks. Let's see, what, what other products does he have? He's got the Sync, the Split Staggered 75 if you're interested. PCB kits about 60 bucks and one of the things that I really like is the BDN9. This is a 3x3 macro pad that has two rotary encoders. But yeah, if you buy anything from his site, you can get up to up to 15% off using the discount code robe and hat. Bonus points to people who know what meme that's from. <laughs> Why did he use that discount code? I don't know. He just thought that it was funny. So I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> Next up is Novel Keys. As you guys know, Novel Keys is currently running GMK Monokai material. So check that out. And he's also running GMK Space Cadet. I guess that's his second set that he's doing. We talked about this last week. See, the base kits goes for 120. Blue base kit goes for 125. Novelties are 45. True Cadet is 75. Xenophobia, thanks for executing that command. 40s are 60. Icons are 35. And International is 85. Here we go, here we go. Let's go through these renders really quick. This is the second time that Space Cadet is being run. If you missed out on the first time, this might be your chance to do this. <laughs> Alright, next sponsor is Canon Keys. Canon Keys is currently running a group buy for GMK Red Dragon. Canon Keys is also located here in the United States up in or over in Rhode Island. Let's see. Base kit goes for 135. 
the Zuying kit goes for 62, Accent for 26, Micro for 33, Dragon for 37, Rama is 38, everything's about 38 bucks here. Um, you guys should definitely consider Canon Keys. Canon Keys, I'd say, is one of our more more technical vendors. I, at least one of my more technical vendors in my sponsor lineup here. Um, in fact, Canon Keys. Upas used to live here in Washington. So I'm like, hey man, I didn't know that you used to live here. He visited, he, he also visited during like the Seattle meetup and we're like, hey man, where are you staying? Did you want to stay with us? He's like, oh no, I've got friends here. I know where everything is. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are interested, definitely hit up Canon Keys. Next up is Project Keyboard. Project Keyboard is currently running a group buy for GMK Noir. GMK Noir is a set from Apiary Keyboards. If you guys don't know who Apiary is, look her up. Let's see, if she's, is she streaming tonight? If she's streaming tonight, I'll go raid her. But yeah, this is, this is her debut set, if I'm not mistaken. Check it out. If you're looking for a black set, that kind of looks like JTK suited assassin. This might be the set to go for. No, it's funny because I, I feel every set that's showed up on Project Keyboard so far has been either Japanese themed or Korean themed, and I think this is the first one that's that's not. So it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. Check it out if interested. Last but not the least is a vendor located here in Seattle, Washington. This is KeyboardLube.com. If you're looking for lube and you want fast shipping, like this guy literally ships the same day that you order as long as you buy before like 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So yeah, he currently has 3 milliliters, 5 milliliters, 10, 20, and 40. Oh, oh okay. Actually. 40 is not in stock, but everything up to 20 milliliters is in stock. Definitely buy 205G0 from this guy. If you want to buy more than just lube, see, pretty sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty sure he sells other stuff. Or maybe he's out of stock as well. Okay, so he. He usually sells stabilizers as well. He he sells Duroc stabilizers, but I guess he's completely out. <laughs> All right, I guess he says 205G0 right now. There we go. See, Steph Key says 20. Yeah, he sells up to 20, and 20 milliliters is 47 bucks. If you use discount code Merlin, you can get 5% off your entire order. So definitely check that out. Yeah, that saves you. Um, here in Washington, our, our sales tax is 10%, so that saves you half your sales tax, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about starting group buys. Let's see, how many starting group buys do we have? We've got one, two, three, four. Four? Group buys that are starting. See, Thicky Jim says, "Oof, that's high." DJ DJ Ben says, "Yep, ten percent. That's a lot. It's yeah, it's it hurts." But the good thing is, we don't have income tax here in Washington, so that's like our our saving grace there. <laughs> um, it's kind of been good living here because, like, I feel like almost every other state that we visit when we pay tax there or when we pay for anything there, we're like, huh, it's a little bit cheaper here. I feel like I've got more money, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> well, every, like, that's, that's really only worked in basically everywhere except California and New York. <laughs> but yeah, it's 10% here. So if you ever visit Seattle, be prepared, be prepared. All right, our first item that is starting is actually starting tomorrow. 
tomorrow at, let's see, here we go. This is all the way on KBD fans. This is the KBD fans Bella, a 75% keyboard, top mounted keyboard with the arrow keys and the rightmost column and the function row split out. And the cool thing about this board, like, you know, maybe some of you won't feel it's cool, but to me, this is really cool. There's a switch opener. The top left here, see that? And it's a cat. It's supposed to be a cat. It's a cat switch opener. <laughs> Which is one reason why I think I'm gonna buy this board tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, every time I do any kind of switch lubing video, I will have this board in front of me. <laughs> but yeah, the the... The main draw of this board is that cat switch opener. <laughs> but here we go. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. EST, there will be a spot sale for... Here, let me look at their Discord server really quick. But I believe the spot sale is for... Let's see. Bella will provide 500 sets for spot sale at 10 a.m. EST. There'll be 500 of these. Um, by spot sale, I assume that's like, it's in stock, so once you buy it, if you're part of the first 500, you will get your board right away. Um, An unlimited group buy will also be open at the same time. So come 10 a.m. EST tomorrow, make sure you click on the right link. This board is 299 bucks and it is top mount. This top mount, um, given, given the route that KBD fans is going, I'm going to assume that this board will have ESD protection. Let's see, Bacon Tuna says, did they confirm colors on the spot sale? Um, I vaguely remember reading something that they had 100 of each color available. Or 100-ish, 100-ish. But based on what we're seeing here, the only colors available are E-White, Expensive White, if you guys know what I'm talking about, um, Polycarb, and Aluminum Black. Three colors. Oh, here we go. We'll produce about 100 sets of each variety and sell from stock. King Friday said, they won't tell you if you are in the first 500 multiple months later. <laughs> Yeah, so this board comes with three versions of the PCB. You got a soldered version, multi-layout support, does not support RGB, which isn't a problem. Like, I'm assuming he means RGB underglow? Or maybe in-switch, who knows, who knows? You've got your hot swap ANSI and you've got your hot swap ISO. Cool beans. There is a aluminum case and a brass weight. It comes with case foam and cherry screw in stab. So personally, I like that these boards always have like stabs that they have included. But personally, since the, since the stabs are never directly labeled as to where they're from, what they are, I tend to just use my own stabs anyway. <laughs> Let's see, Gavin Go says, there is no typing angle provided. Um, looking at that, looking at the side profile, that almost looks like the same angle as the KBD-75. So what, KBD-75 was what, six, six degrees? Could be six degrees, we don't know. Here we go. You also have the option to buy a Bella carrying case and you can do assembly service. All that good stuff. Look at that, look at the switch opener. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> Dub said says that's one derpy looking cat. <laughs> it is, yeah. I think I think that's part of the appeal. There we go. Let's look at the available layouts. You've got your typical three 1.25s. You got the 7U spacebar, you can do split left shift, you can do ISO support, and split backspace. Not bad, not bad. It's funny that they, 
still colored these for the hot sauce variants. Interesting. Yeah, I. The Gavin Gill says if they have option to replace the kitty with something else. There, there is rumor that they do. I think it's going to be replaced just with this. This guy right here. It's just ridges without the cat on it. I'm definitely going to get the cat. Absolutely have to get the cat. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a 75% keyboard with a good layout and have 300 bucks, please click that link and be ready by tomorrow at 10 a.m. EST. Define cable says spends 300 for a switch opener. <laughs> Gavin goes says tough choice between this and the D65. We'll be talking about the D65 next week. But that is a gasket mount board. Um, I would go for the D65 if I were you. But that's mainly because so you won't fight with me for the Bella. <laughs> just being honest. Just being honest. Go for the D65. <laughs> Alright, next board. Or next group buy that's starting, I guess. Since we don't have that many. Is, is a key set. We actually talked about this last week, so I won't spend too much time on it. But GMK Rainy Day is actually starting on October 6th. I know last week everyone really liked this set. This is a very neutral colored set that seems to work on just about any board. Um, here, let's look at all these renders. It's a very, very pretty set. A lot of people say that it's a must buy. Um, one thing I did not like was the desk mat, to be honest. But yeah, here, let's just run through the renders really quick. Since we did talk about this last week, I just figured I'd talk about it again since it was supposed to run last week, but I guess it, it got pushed to this week. See that, that looks really good. That's a blue iron. The desk mat should have been raindrops. I agree with you on that. Yeah, good stuff. This is going to be on the Kono store. If I remember correctly. Group by October 6th. Yep, Kono store for 135. You've got a Hangul for 40, space bars for 30, and novelties for 30. Check that out in a few days, guys. October 6th. Next item on our list that is starting is another GMK set. I think someone earlier mentioned that why is GMK so backed up? Um, I I feel like every time I do one of these, I'm talking like half the time I'm talking about GMK sets. So here we go. This next set is also from GMK. This is GMK Retrocast, which is apparently inspired by older gaming consoles if I'm not mistaken and check it out are there any renders this one starts up October 7th cartridges kit will beans batteries kit <laughs> dock keycaps That's really pretty. Here we go, renders. Let's look at these renders. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of gives me like this aquamarine feel. <laughs> Gavin Go says it's too, too kitty. Okay, um, I can see what you mean, but I, I don't think it's as kitty as the DSA Pastel. So I think this is actually pretty good. Like, if you look at it and view it as more of an aquamarine set, it would look cool. Yeah, there, there it is. That's the one on the JO2. There we go, on the house engineering. Looks good. Looks 
Looks pretty decent on a silver board, I'd say. People are saying that it looks kitty. Hmm. That looks surprisingly good on a blackboard. That looks really good, actually. Especially with the yellow arrow accents. It, it, it kind of reminds me of GMK Nautilus Nightmares. Kinda, kinda. Let's look, look at that side profile. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen a TKC Molly. That's that's cool. Not sure if it works well on a blue board like this, to be honest. On the Koyu, white looks good too. Xenophobia says, I got a Nautilus Nightmare and Merlin vibe here with the colors. Merlin Nightmares, how about that? Oh my gosh, looks like I forgot to answer someone's question here, but Kajata says, ask me anything within reason. Favorite vintage board? Um, favorite vintage board is the, oh gosh, I forget what it's called. But I think it's the Y40. The the Y's Y40. I forgot what it's called. You know what? I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called, but I definitely have it with me. So let me just pull it out really quick. Let me just pull it out really quick. <laughs> Here we go. This guy right here, this is the Y30 actually. Here we go. It's basically a 65% with the numpad on the right. Look at that. This was built in, I'm guessing 1988. If I remember correctly. X Bash says, should I use should I use first my milky yellow before lubing them? Your milky yellow. What is a milky yellow? There we go. Yeah, this was um where did I pick this up? I picked this up during one of my vintage hunting adventures. I found a, I found a car dealership that was shutting down and they were getting rid of everything that they had from cars to old Weiss terminals like this. And they actually had 20 of these and he was wanting to sell me the whole, um, like the whole thing, like, like, like the monitors, all the computers and the keyboards for $250 for like 20 of them. So I went up there being all like, you know, man, I'm a vintage collector and I actually have a bunch of Weiss boards, but uh, um, Weiss computers, all I really need are the keyboards. Can you cut me a deal here? Can you only sell me the keyboards? And then he's like, uh, uh, not sure if I should. I'm like, I'll give you 70 bucks for all 20. And then he's like, okay, sure. Why not? So I walked away with about 
20 different Weiss boards. One of them being this. <laughs> so yeah, these are vintage blacks. These are vintage blacks. There's some of the smoothest ones right here. <laughs> yeah, and what's special about this is that these keycaps, if you look at other Wise keycaps, right? You'll notice that they're really thin. This particular board has keycaps that are very thick. Like so. So yeah, this is one of my favorite vintage boards. As you can see, it's only slightly larger than the Southpaw. <laughs> All right. Now, anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking about... Here, let me pull up my notes as well. We were talking about GMK Retrocast and just going through all of the renders. Oh look, it's even on the cyberboard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Cyberboard. Cool beans. And here we go, dust mats. I actually like this dust mat. This is very nostalgic. <laughs> it's a very nostalgic dust mat, but I'm gonna have to have to agree though that even though it's nostalgic, the way it's done does look kind of kiddish to me. Like maybe if the edges of the D-pad was a little bit more, was a little sharper. Cause right now this looks like just a blob. Bacon and Tuna says that looks right at home on the cyberboard. <laughs> it does look really good on the cyberboard. Let's see, now you have a color cast, colored version. Um, I think I like the green version over the colored version. Yeah, I don't really like the colored one. Mm, what do you guys think? I feel like, okay. So I, I already feel that this is kiddish. So when you color it in like this, it's even more kiddish. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Due to some complication, I'm only able to produce the light alpha base kit. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, if you guys are interested there is no actual link for it quite yet, so you'll have to look through the Geek Hack page. This one is supposedly starting October 7th. Here we go. And now the last, the last key set of the evening. Oh, Gavin Go did spoken word again. Okay, let me do that after I talk about this last set. Here we go. This last set is GMK Grand Prix. Or, nope, that's not Grand Prix. Where's Grand Prix? <laughs> I guess I don't have the link. Here, let me... I must have overwrote it during one of my earlier attempts. Here we go. GMK Grand Prix. Check it out, guys. Um, obviously, this is inspired by Grand Prix. Zebo Bus says Night Runner Vibes. Absolutely agree with you. This is a group buy that starts on October 9th. Add on kits, red, pretty cool space bar kit. Novelties kit. I really like the novelty kits here. It's very creative. Oh, I like that. Like the speedometer. Clutch! <laughs> Gas. I like it. The key. There's a key right there. Extras kit, I assume. Here we go, let's go look at the renders. I, 
I really like the set, but you guys know that I like yellow, so here we go. I like this a lot. I like this set a lot. I would... I would almost say I like it better than Rainy Day. <laughs> Just because it's yellow and I love yellow. Like, literally, I am... I'm even drinking something that's yellow. <laughs> there we go. I think putting on the accent keys really makes it pop. Like that that's that's really beautiful right there. Look at that. Um not so sure if it works well on a polycarb case that Kind of looks ugly in my opinion, so maybe not on polycarb. Silver w works good on silver as well. Zimboba says technically green. Yeah, it's it's like a greenish, greenish yellowish green. It's like neon, neon yellow on the verge of of, of it being green. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. If I buy this set, I'm definitely going to have, have to get all the novelties just for the accents. Alright, Rama Caps available. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, when, when I first saw this, I almost thought that this was like like the outline that you do for like a dead body. And I was like, like how did this person die? <laughs> but no, that is not. That is actually the track. <laughs> Here we go. Another Rama cap right there. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like he sent the the RAL colors as well. This set's going to be available on Novel Keys, Death Hero, Candy Keys, Daily Clack, and Z Frontier Ilum KB. So de definitely check it out if you guys are interested. Hit up that link on November 8th. Well, by November 8th, Novel Keys will finally have like a site for it. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I will be updating all of that in the details section down below. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, out of curiosity, out of the three sets, the three key sets that I talked about, let's go through them again. Let's do GMK Rainy Day, GMK Retrocast, and GMK, oh, not that one, GMK Grand Prix. What is the audience most interested in? Mo says rainy day. Nefert says GMK Grand Prix. Yeah, GMK Grand Prix. Run GMC says rainy day. Gavin Go says Grand Prix. Nasty, Nasty Nader says I'm between Retrocast and Grand Prix. Kajata says all good. Grand Prix is an Instacop for you. Nice. Rainy day and Grand Prix are my favorites here. I'm gonna agree with you, Xenophobia. Grand Prix for sure, says Zibobis. KR4 says all. The yellowish green of Grand Prix is awesome. I agree with you there, but and and I just really hope that, you know, GMK can match that. Like, one thing he didn't do here was actually provide, like, the color chips. I'm curious to see if he was able to succeed in doing that. Buddy557 says, Rainy Day is dope. Very cool, very cool. Right. All right, Gavin, go. While, while people are still messaging, I'm going to do the spoken word just for you since you redeemed it. There we go. Let's go back to typings.gg. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here, let's pause the music again, and hopefully I remember to turn it back on. <laughs> Not like last time. Here we go. 
Xenophobia says the colors are listed on the post. Yes, but I would like to see if he actually looked at a color chip when he determined that. Just because, you know, you look at the renders and when you fall in love with the renders and then you see the real thing not match the renders, you kind of feel disappointed there. But here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meditate on these words as I speak them. Let them permeate into your soul. Only those who will fully comprehend it can attain keyboard nirvana. <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me laugh. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see, how should I do this one? <laughs> Here we go. A under eye may during get new. This school one tell threw off. Take she, it have present could new against problem house. Order, leave, now. Down old we threw late. Present those for might, must they little great. But against small keep general look school. Over keep, all such end. There we go. Bacon and Duna says, I think I'm about to ascend. <laughs> ascend to what? To the PC master race. <laughs> Define cable says, amen. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> uh, I want you all to take a moment, a moment of silence just to meditate on those words. Oh, hi, Ken. <laughs> Redeem spoken word again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, while I'm doing this, while I'm doing this, I do want to invite you all to... Here, let me do something really quick. Here we go. Um, we, we are going to transition to group buys from the audience. Um, as some of you know, there are way too many group buys happening. So sometimes I need to rely on you guys. Um, did I miss anything keyboard, switch, desk mat, basically anything keyboard related? Did I miss anything that's either ending or starting this week? Um, please send me a message here on Twitch. Don't call me. Don't message me on Instagram. Send it here on Twitch so that I can review them. Um, send me the link and also tell me what I need to look out for so I don't have to spend like 10 minutes reading through it. All right. So while that's happening, while that is happening, we are going to do a spoken word because oh, hi, Ken redeemed it. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do this again. Yeah, all of my spoken word is from typings.gg. I guess I could do monkey type as well. Yeah, I could probably do um monkey type as well. Let's see. Gavin goes, I have a feeling the next stream Merlin will remove the spoken words. Well, um, I might add something to it to not be like... Like you can't use it way too frequently, but given this, like this, this gives time for people to message me here. Like, let's see, looks like I've already got two, two people messaging me. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Raise the price on hydrate. <laughs> people are just going to keep having me drink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see, is this, is this a good one? Yeah, this is a good one. All right, moment of silence, please. Everyone take a deep breath, close your eyes, go to your happy space and open your ears. Here we go. Hold under ask, while person increase change. Know when lead, want when mean should still. Would come all house, day man. Begin many, since see, without more set. Consider, because open with head. Consider, 
before, during, since school, both state about word. Little, great, much, off, right, small, such, then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kevin goes out. I keep laughing at the spoken words. <laughs> so dramatic. I need to have, like, dramatic music playing in, like, the background when I do this. I should find something for next stream. I should totally do that, right? Should totally find dramatic music. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got a couple more people messaging messaging me. Perfect. That's good. Here, let's move back to this page so people can keep messaging. Here, let's see. The first one is from KR4. From KR4, let's see. Oh, look at that. Um, KR4 says GMK Mudbeam. We talked about that last week. So it looks like they pushed the date, huh? All right. According to KR4, Mud Mudbeam was pushed to October 9th. It was supposed to be for yesterday. I mean, for, I think, Thursday last week. There we go. So we won't talk about that again. Thank you, KR4. Next one is from Tofri. Tofri sent me a link. Let's see. Here we go. Let me just vet his links right there. Okay, there we go. Let's talk about this. This is from Tofri. And this is the Mark 65. 65% board, obviously. Let's see, what can we find on it? Here, let me play the music again. Let's do this. There we go. Let me post that in chat as well so you guys can all read through it. Here we go. Um, oh, this is really hard to read. <laughs> Let me up, up the size. There we go. Uh, I guess let's just look at photos. There's just too much to read there. <laughs> Interesting. It it looks like a good board. It's basically a. 65% with split out arrow keys and rightmost column. Look at that. That, I don't know the significance of that circle with the dot in the middle. It's like a crop circle, I guess. <laughs> that seems to be a RGB underglow of sorts on the bottom. Oh, yep, there it is. RGB underglow. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. The question is, what what mounting is it? What software does it support? Oh, look at that. That looks to be gasket mount. Ooh, it's a gasket mount 65. Very nice. Gavin Go says, I think the circle was their company logo. Talisman says he likes it. Iceman very much dislikes the circle mark. I like 65% boards in general. Yeah, yeah. Cool bead. Yeah, that looks to be gasket mount. You can see the... That's the plate. PCB. And then that's the gasket that suspends the plate between the top case and the bottom case. Looks good. Image failed to load. There we go. GMK8008. Yeah, overall, I think it's a good looking board. Let's see if we can find any more information on this. 250 bucks for a base kit? That is really cheap. What the heck? Oh wait, it's not really, it's, it's available in spring leaf variants. 
five degree tilt. Oh, so brass plate is not included. So 250 is probably like an aluminum plate. Um, I'd like to see, is QMK even mentioned? There we go. Gasket mount plate. Oh, Gavin Go says the base kit has no angle, just flat. Okay, hot swap compatible PCB, five degree tilt, optional. RGB underglow, QMK compatible. Um, I'm curious why they say QMK compatible, but not VIA compatible. I'm really hoping that this isn't the isn't like one of the Matrix PCBs where they try to use like, well, they're trying to use like an ARM chip, but it's not an ARM chip that's supported by VIA. So I'd like to find out a little bit more on that. Interesting. Cool. I think it's a really good looking board, honestly. Like that circle mark there doesn't really annoy me, but I can, I can agree that it could annoy other people. But yeah, check it out, guys. Check it out if you are interested. For 250 bucks, that is a, that's a very good deal. All right, let's see, what's next? Who who else messaged me here? Thank you, Tofi, for sending that. Let's see, the next one is from Define Cables. Define Cables sending me links, but no explanation. <laughs> all right, Define Cables, please send me the appropriate information so I don't have to read through all the comments again. Let's go. Next one is from DJ Ben. Here we go. Oh yeah, DJ Ben. This is this one's a good one. This one is the Hive 60. This one just started this past week actually. This is a gasket mount 60% for $275. Really cool. Got a seven degree typing angle, 20 millimeter height at wrist, designed to fit most common 60s, such as your DZ60, GH60, all that good stuff. HHKB blockers are $15 upcharge. <laughs> Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. Six rest says made in Washington. Yeah, that's what I noticed. I feel like I haven't seen this guy mention anything in our Seattle Discord. So I really wonder who who it is. See so shipping. US domestic is 15. International flat rate is 50. Local pickup in Everett, Washington. Ah, okay. Six rest says, scroll to the bottom. There we go. There's pictures of how it's gasket mounted. Premium construction and fail. Made in the USA. Everett also has quite a few Cerakoting places, so I wonder if you could talk to this guy about getting it Cerakoted. <laughs> you know, just because it's so close to me, I may, I may want to try it out. Let me see if I can find this guy on, on Discord. But this is this is this is really interesting. Like honestly speaking, it looks like a budget board. Like there's nothing here that makes that, that makes me think that it's premium. This is definitely a a budget board, and at that price range, manufactured here in the United States, that's that's probably why. Yeah, thanks for bringing this up. Thanks for bringing this up, Define Cables, or not Define Cable, DJ Ben. Here we go. Check that out if you guys are interested. 
Let's see, define cable says, sends me two Reddit group buys for dust mats. One of them was sour MKs, and the second one is a group buy for some dessert dust mats. Okay. Let's, let's look at some dust mats, guys. Here we go. This is the weave dust mat available on Canon keys. Here we go. Um, let me read a little bit more about this. Folks, here we go. Check out these dust mats. Weave dust mats for about 17 bucks. Um, honestly, the dust mat doesn't really speak out to me. It looks like your looks like a very generic dust mat, to be honest. Nothing special there. But if I had to pick between the blues or the black and gray, I'd probably pick the black and gray one. Let's see, another. The other one that he sent me was, let's see, the dessert, the desert dust mat. There we go, desert dust mat. Um, Okay. There we go. Desert dust mat. Check it out. Looks like you have several variants available. You've got night desert, regular desert. <laughs> you can pick daylight, dust, dark, and arctic. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I actually like this. Let's see, for 20 bucks though, that's kind of pricey for dust mats. Usually dust mats only go for 17 bucks. I wonder why this one's more expensive. Anyway, if you guys are interested, check that out. Looks like you've got till October 16th to purchase this. Let's see. Thank you Define Cables for sending those my way. All right, next up is a link from Query Edu. Oops. Query Edu sent me, there we go, looks like it's a, some kind of a case. Oh, interesting. See, Xenophobia, this, this is a, Oh, Xenophobia and Zark, this might be a set that interests you guys, or a keyboard that interests you guys. Here we go, this is a corn, <laughs> corn case. <laughs> Look at that. 195 bucks, so that is really expensive. You can select tenting or not. Select style, space gray, charcoal black. It's a really interesting set. Or a kit, I mean. Interesting. Let's go look at the group buy information here. This is a group buy. It will last until October 24th. Let's see, do not order anything else. Okay, typical group buy lingo. Got an open bottom. Case features an open bottom design. Closed using the corns. Acrylic bottom plate. Interesting. Definitely not a board for me, but it looks cool. It looks cool, like, look at that. It's got an OLED. 
It's got RGB LEDs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool board, but definitely not for me. And if I'm not mistaken, this is just the case for one. It's not like the actual kit. It's just it's just the case. The each case will come with acrylic covers, tenting screws, acrylic bottom screws and standoffs, and a carrying case. How much is the corn normally? BZY boys has loved the streams. Thank you so much. Xenophobia or Zark, do you guys know how much a corn normally costs? Because if you have to buy a corn along with this case, this is entering like customs territory right then and there. Starting to look really pricey. Kajata says PCB probably on GitHub. Sure. But if you still have to go out and get the PCB fabricated, that's just additional cost to an already $200 investment. Nuclear Monster says corn is normally pretty cheap, but look, it's got an OLED on it too. You still have to buy the microcontroller. You have to buy all of the components. Query Edu says PCB is about 25 USD. Okay. If it's so cheap, I wonder why he didn't he didn't just include it. Maybe it's just you know more more legwork for for him. All right, cool. It's probably the coolest case I've seen in a while. <laughs> Nuclear Monster says, I think the OLED isn't super expensive. Let's see. Let me look at. Alright, who's next? Dub Sedan. Well, Query Edu, thank you for sending me that link. Let's see what Dub Sedan has now. Let's close that. There we go. Dub Sedan, what did you send me? You sent me a link and nothing else. Please send me what I need to be looking out for on this. I'll just keep this open for another five minutes. If people don't send me any any other links, we'll close the stream. Oh, there we go. Dub Sedan responded. Let's see. Ah, okay. Here we go. This is from Apex Keyboards. Doge Dust Mats. There we go. This one. Let's see, what did Dub Sedan say about this? He said it's a desk mat that started this week. Cool beans, cool beans. Designed by Lean Doodles. These are really cute. These are really cute. These are sushi. It's so cute. No, I think I think I might buy one. Let's see, what's 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 29 Canadian in USD? 29 Canadian to USD is 21 bucks. So this is the most expensive dust mat that I've talked about. Because even the previous dust mat was only 20 bucks. Okay, so yeah, this one just started and you have until... Let's see, what's the end date on this? Until October 16th. Cool beans, cool beans. You know, none of you guys are actually sending me group buys that are starting or ending this week. <laughs> Okay. See next one. Next one was from Ohiken. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Ohiken, this better be a group buy that's starting or ending this week. Let me verify this link.
Oh my god, this is... Th this one... When did this start? Did this start last week? Oh, hi Ken, you need to give me more, more information than that. All right, we'll move on to the next person. This person says, gave me a, gave me a link to Reddit and says, wanted to know what I think. Um, can you give me more, more information than that link that you sent? Like, what am I supposed to be looking out for here? Please send me more than just a link, guys. waiting for people to respond to me but if they don't respond within the next five minutes we'll be done here all right there we go oh hi Ken said this was a keyboard that started last week okay and it's ending on October okay let's see let's move on to Ranger Ranger, when does this end? When does this start? waiting on a ranger here to give me the appropriate information. He's not sending me the right information. Let me just read through. Pardon me, guys, while I read through the group by. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is a... This is a group buy that started today, actually. Here we go. Yeah, this is the Sitters KB group buy. Link to group buy page. Let's actually click on the link to the group buy page. Sitters Keeves, gasket mount acrylic. 65, Alice, and a 60. That's interesting. From 110, okay. Here, let me post this all into the chat right there interesting board this is a budget budget gasket mount I guess <laughs> um what PCBs are these are, are are is he making the same PCBs as well is this compatible? Oh, here we go. Recommended to be used with KBD67, Rev2, and Mark2. Interesting. Okay. That must mean that his USB port is fairly large to accommodate all three of those. All three of those PCBs. 
interesting. And there's just not much here. I think there was an actual case render. Let's go take a look. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'd like to see how big that USB port is. Like I'm I'm assuming it's going to be large, similar to the Savage 65 in order to accommodate all three types of PCBs. But yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a neat solution. Fairly cheap gasket mount board. Not sure how good it will sound though. I've never been a fan of full acrylic layered boards, so don't know. Don't know if I would buy it, but if you're looking for gasket and can only afford this price, this might be good. See, Ranger says, funny, two budget gaskets. Yeah, but the difference with this budget gasket is that it's like layered acrylic. So not sure how this will do. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, we have been at this for two hours already. I think I'm, go I'm going to end the stream. Let's see, just gonna check one last time. We'll do one last one. Let's see. I see another message from DJ Ben. DJ Ben, I, I already did yours. Query Edu, I think I already did yours as well. Oh. Query Edu, we, we, we actually talked about that already. So I think if that's the case, I'll just go with what DJ Ben is saying here. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see. What is this board? Ooh, this is this is interesting. Let's talk about this. This one. Let's just make sure that it's actually starting or ending this week. Oh, no way. It's in stock and ready to ship. Yeah, let's go talk about this. Let's talk about this board. This is a board that is in stock and ready to ship. <laughs> Check it out. Assuming you have $589, it is a 96 key board. Look at that, this is ginormous. <laughs> 589 bucks for a 96 key. Looks like it's got a very interesting side profile um, that looks like to be a bottom weight, brass bottom weight of sorts. It's got 236 RGB LEDs. Oh yeah, wait, that's for in switch, backlighting, and crevice lighting. Okay, that's why there's so many. It's got a magnetic connector, five degree angle, interesting. You can also add upgrades to it, such as adding kale hot swaps. Uh-oh, this war this 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 worries me. This easy to use software. Easy to use software to customize lighting effects and key map. I wonder what that easy to use software is. Very interesting. What else? Violet. Army. Glacier. Interesting. That's a really small weight though. Packaging. Interesting. 589 bucks. I I just wish they would tell you what what, what the software is. <laughs> I'm kind of worried, kind of worried about it, especially for 589 bucks. It's, it's kind of a risk that you'll have to take. Like, it looks really unique. And there you go, there's that magnetic USB connector. 
that. I think it's a magnetic USB A connector. So it's an A to A connector. I don't see too many magnetic USB A, so that's that's interesting. See, Dub Sedan says these are the same guys that make the seventy dollar switch puller. <laughs> it's it's an interesting board. Not sure if I'd buy it. Like anything bigger than TKL is too big for me, and even TKL is a stretch. So maybe, maybe not, maybe not. But if you guys do have a a 96 key shaped hole in your heart and you're willing to fill to to fill it with this and have 589 bucks, have at it, have at it. All right. All right, guys, thanks for joining in. And if you are watching this on YouTube, I'm going to have to apologize that some things may have already expired and some things may have already started by the time you watch this. So be sure to tune in Sunday nights at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, everyone, thanks for joining in. This was quite fun doing all that spoken word and the staff party. I will have to change things up a little bit to minimize the interruptions. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. But definitely for the spoken word, I'm gonna, I'm prob probably gonna find some epic music for it. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, my next stream will be this coming Tuesday. I'll be putting another board into QMK. If you wanna know that entire process, the QMK process and the VIA process, Definitely tune in 7.30 p.m. Tuesday nights PST. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good start of your week. And I will see you when I see you. Goodbye, guys.